You know, it's a couple of Mega Master, and I'm going to be showing you some replays with my Dark Magician and Diabell style deck. Now, before I show you all of these replays, I like to talk about Raid Shadow Legends. Raid Shadow Legends, the hit mobile hero collection RPG played by over 80 million players across the world. Completely free to play, amazing graphics, and tons of awesome bosses to take on. There's an event right now. They're celebrating Arrival of Spring in Teleria with a special Spring Hunt minigame where users can win gaming consoles or Amazon gift cards with a total value of $10,000. Or in-game loot like Legendary Champions or Skill Times. Players will need to find hidden items around the Mistwood. They simply download Raid using this link right here, which has my username on it. You also get two strong epics plus one legendary champion available via this link only. And after downloading the game via my link, you can use the promo code SPRINGHUNT24 to get silver and more. It's available for both new and existing players. So if you're interested in Raid Shadow Legends, just download it from the link in the description or the pinned comment of this video. Alright, so here I'm going second. And I use Maxi because I really like my hand. So if my opponent just wants to end their turn, if Maxi goes through because my opponent doesn't want me drawing cards, uh, that's fine. I really like my hand, but you know, I, my opponent just decided to special summon, which I was very happy about. I was I was wanting to see what's worth negating because here my like usually if, um, people play this card, they get that other punk card and special summon it. Um, and then here I had to use infinite permanence because I was like, all right, I don't want you banishing <laughs> one of the cards. Uh, like a card from my hand. Actually, no, my opponent didn't even use the effect, actually. Oh, yeah, my opponent summoned um, uh, Zombie Vampire. That's when I used Infinite Permanence. Um, but yeah, you just didn't think I could get a hand trap. Like, after using Maxi, you just thought you were fine. Like, okay. <laughs> it's like, dude, you're... <laughs> oh, man. Uh, you're just, you know, you're letting me draw all these cards and you don't expect me to get infinite permanence come on like we even affect Vela, ash blossom like come on here this isn't i mean it's actually not too bad um here i, I went to use magician's rod's effect um but my opponent negated that which i was fine because i didn't want my opponent using infinite permanence on diabell star so i got rid of um magician's rod and summon diabell star i Put the trap card there. Um, I could have summoned Baron, but I was pretty fine with this. I have skill drain, maxi, ash blossom, and the gate on the field. So my opponent just did that because of maxi, I'm assuming. Um, so I got Dark Magician, which was okay. So here I did decide to um, summon, but I summoned Chaos Angel. Oh, I summoned Chaos Angel because I have skill drain. Um, so I, I rather have a 3,500 attack monster instead of having a 3,000 attack monster. But my opponent's also using skill drain, so this is pretty funny. It's just basically like skill drain versus skill drain. <laughs> skill drain versus skill drain. This is funny. Same column as well. And it's like, I don't even have to use my skill drain now, so that's pretty funny. So here I attacked my opponent's face down, which was effect Valor. And then here I set down summon limit. I didn't set it down um, before, just in case. Oh, yeah, I don't know. Just think, I don't know, I don't know. It's not like my opponent could play evenly matched. Unless that... Nah, they couldn't have. So my opponent did get rid of Skill Drain <laughs> to summon Diabell Star to use Diabell Star's effect. Only to get negated by my Skill Drain. Then I use Summon Limit here, and then my opponent ended their turn. Um, but that was pretty funny. My opponent used Skill Drain, and then I used Skill Drain. That never really happens much, so... That was very funny. I don't know if I should make this video like... Oh, then again, people might get confused with the Skill Drain event if I make it the title like Skill Drain versus Skill Drain. Anyway, my opponent left, so... Yeah. Just, I guess my opponent forgot what Skill Drain does. But yeah, there's going to be more Dark Magician replays. Um, not in this video, but... Yeah, actually, there's going... Sorry, I meant there's going to be more Dark Magician videos. Um... Just a few. You're still going to be seeing Blue Eyes. Um, hopefully, Blue Eyes Chaos Max Dragon as well, because I really miss I really miss Chaos Max Dragon. So, opponent is using this 
fire deck or something. I think this takes some time, so I might actually just fast forward. Because I'm pretty sure my opponent took a long time, only to get hit by super polymerization, so... Yeah. And then my opponent summoned um, a dark monster, which I was fine with, never mind. Because um, I was going to summon Magician Rod, and then super polymerization to dark monsters, but that's fine. I don't know, it's like my opponent wanted to destroy me in one turn, like FTK. Like, just get rid of all my life points, but didn't. My opponent just did this only, which is okay. It wasn't that long, to be honest. So I used super polymerization. Um, so I polyed those bastards to Gururumon. Then my opponent's activating these graveyard effects and then did that. So I used Diabell Star. And then I used Called by the Grave, I believe. Well, my opponent was going to inflict damage, but it's not that much. I didn't use Called by the Grave. I guess I didn't think it was worth it. So my opponent did summon Snake Eyes, unfortunately. Um, yeah, this is like a burn fire deck. I guess that makes sense. See, so, yeah, I used uh, Magician Rod to get Soul Servant. And then I used Soul Servant um, to get Magician Souls. So I got Magician Souls. I played Dark Medical Circle. And then I summoned Dark Magician. I believe I banished um, Snake Eyes Dragon. Yep. And then I summoned Diabell Star. I was able to draw a card as well, which is which was nice. Uh, I guess I kept Called by the Grave just in case my opponent plays Maxi or Ash Blossom. So I got Illusion of Chaos and then I got my Trap. Yeah, this is how you deal a lot of damage in one turn, by the way. This is, this is how you do it. <laughs> this is how you do it. This, this is how you do it. This is how you do it. This is how you do it. So I printed did that, whatever. Attack, 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 and GG. Strange duel. But that's how you deal a lot of damage in one turn. <laughs> but yeah, strange duel. Um, I think I'm going to show maybe two replays. This one and the next one, I think. Yeah. And there's a few Blue Eyes replays, so th this is Dark Magician. Okay, good. I've missed this. Like, I used Dark Magician early last month, but then I used Blue Eyes for the whole month. And then, well, almost the whole month. Then near the end, I used Dark Magician. And just doing this with Secret Village, just... Oh my god, so good. I've missed I've missed that so much. I didn't really play Master Duel much this season. Like, I didn't care about ranking up much. I felt bad for my opponent because I could tell my opponent was using Blue Eyes. So my opponent summoned the White Stone of Ancients and then Link Karibo. I used, you know, Summon Limit. And my opponent can't even summon a Blue Eyes monster from their deck. Um, so yeah, I, I had a feeling my opponent was using Blue Eyes though because of the setup. Um, so I was like, if my opponent just summons the White Stone of Ancients... And then summons Link Rebo, that's pretty much GG. <laughs> if they didn't get Dictate of D um, or a spellcaster like Sage or Effect Mailer to summon. Um, but yeah. <laughs> I was going through the last replay, but the reason why I didn't play, like, just care about ranking up was because I've been having fun with, you know, Dark Souls again. Like, um, as I played Demon Souls, like, a few months ago. And because I realized you can get it with PS Plus, and I was like, oh, true, I never really played Demon Souls, like even the original one. Because I started off with Dark Souls 3 and Elden Ring, like those were the, the two I finished. Bloodborne, I never finished, um, and I didn't really play the other ones. I played two, but I couldn't get into it. But anyway, I played all of Demon Souls, and then I was in a, I'm in a Souls mood right now, so I played Dark Souls 1. I just finished Dark Souls 1, which was amazing. I love Dark Souls 1 so much. Um, the remastered one. Um, I haven't played the original, but yeah. So I just finished Dark Souls 1. And now I'm playing Dark Souls 2, which I don't really like too much, but I'm going to play it anyway. But I might... I don't know if I should play Bloodborne or Dark Souls 2 first. So that's why I haven't really... Just don't really care about ranking up too much right now um, in Master Duel. Because I've just been playing the Souls games. And it's great timing for me to play again, because... The Elden Ring DLC comes out soon. So, definitely a great time to get back into Souls games. So yeah, that's what I've been doing. 
And now I've been playing a Neon Genesis Evangelion game on Nintendo 64 as well, so I've just been enjoying other games. Um, you know, I've been enjoying that one much. I, I do enjoy it, but my god is it hard, even though it's on easy. But yeah, Dark Souls 1, amazing. Love it. Um, you know, I attacked and attacked. Now, I just want to say that the few replays you saw at the start of this video, my Dark Magician deck was a bit different. I made some adjustments to it um, now, which I'll be showing you in a, after I click OK. Alright, so the deck I was using um, in those replays. I need some water, man. Alright, so I, let me just show you... Um, oh my god, see, I need some water. Let me just show you what I used to have and stuff like that. And Oh, you can only have two now, so... Oh, I... I <laughs> yeah, because I, I had three, but then I adjusted it to two. No, I think I already had it at two, but then I had three Diabell Stars. Oh, so luckily... <laughs> Oh, I should dismantle one of them, because um, I think I have three copies. Yeah, I do. All right. Oh, bonus. There you go. That's that's awesome. All right, I gotta check if there's any other um, banned cards. All right. Uh, limited and banned and whatever. All right. So I made some adjustments. I had I had it like this before. Um, yeah, I guess two like that. And then I also had, um, what else did I have? I don't remember right now. Oh, I think I had another secret village. Or something. I don't, I don't know if this is, oh, you know what? I was going to have a showcase with the Tamaya spell card. Timayasu, which is why I also added this, but I canceled that. Um... So the reason why I made these adjustments is I didn't want to... Like, sometimes I would start with all these Diabell Star cards. So that's why I have, a, like, a very balanced amount now. Just two each. Because if I get her, great. Like, it's... There's a lot of chances of getting her. Because I have the two spell cards and two copies of her. So that's fine. So I have three maxis now. And I also had one Dark Magical Circle. But, you know, I hate having two of the same sort of cards with Dark Magician like this. That you can activate once per turn. I kind of need it because sometimes people banish cards from your deck and they banish Dark Magical Circle. And I've been seeing Dark Magical Circle a lot lately with two now, so that's good because, you know, sometimes I have Eternal Soul and Dark Magician but no Dark Magical Circle, so yeah, it's unfortunate. Um, so I have two again. I do want to make room for Dark Magic Attack because I actually really miss Dark Magic Attack. So I don't know what to take out. Um... Usually I would use free infinite permanences, but because I have two super um two super polymerizations, I I think it's fine to just have three maxis, two ash blossoms, two super polymerizations, and two infinite permanences. And then these trap cards have just been amazing. <laughs> um, but yeah, um, so so some adjustments. Keep in mind I'm still adjusting, like making some adjustments, but. I don't know, I could maybe have two Magician's Rod, maybe, I'll see, I'll see. Alright, thank you for watching, and I will see you later, bye!